Hello guys, in this miscellaneous video, I'm going to show you how you can transcribe your text, either handwritten or just something that's not on digital format, how you can take a picture of it and then transcribe it into a digital format, digital text and copy and paste. So I've got two examples here. I've got this kind of printed text on like a uh, outdoor hiking guide, trail guide, and this uh, handwritten text right here. So the first little tip right here, guys, is that you can go ahead and use crop to crop out anything that's not necessary. So to, to not confuse the program, I'm just going to go ahead and crop what we actually want right here. Um, it may try and, like, for example, do this right here. So maybe what we can do is just kind of close that up to make sure it doesn't try and transcribe that. So then I'll go ahead and save that as a copy. Uh, same for the text right here. I'm going to go ahead and crop this. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and crop it further. All right, and just to make sure it doesn't try and do this, I'll go ahead and maybe um, fill that in. And you can see like right here we have, it says date, and so I may get confused by that. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop that up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, export these as a JPEG, and then I'm going to show you the website. All right, guys, so I'm sure there are all sorts of websites out there. The one that I found to be very quick and convenient is one called i2ocr.com. OCR stands for, you know, Optical Character Recognition. So it's very simple. First, you select your language that you want to use. Then step two, the OCR engine. We have Future and Classic. I've always just used Future. Then you select your image right here. I'll go ahead and do that. All right. It looks like there's a cropping function right here as well. And then you can go ahead and click on I'm not a robot. In which case, you'll have to pass a little test. It's now going to click on Extract Text, and it'll go ahead and get started. It's a relatively fast process, guys, so just wait a little bit, and you should get your transcribed text. There's also different websites you can check out right here, which have different little functions. All right, guys. And the cool thing here is a little comparison of the text and the image. So let's do a double check. Hiking hints and rules. Hiking hints and rules. As you can see, guys, it even kind of does, does the caps here. Stay on the marked trails. Stay on the marked trails. Uh, okay. Safety and out. I mean, look, guys, it even knows how to do the little bullet points right here. So, of course, guys, there may be little, um, there may be little errors here and there. So you can go ahead and fix little errors. But for the most part, guys, I think it's done a fantastic job. You can see right here, put a black box right there where it says, this is your park. And it looks like it was able to successfully uh, avoid putting any text right there. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. Um, I don't see any errors right off the bat, but it's always good to do a double check, guys. All right. Let me go ahead and try the more messy handwritten image, and I'll see you once you get this result right here. All right, guys, so this text right here, I was just watching various videos on hiking and backpacking, various tips and tricks, and I just kind of wrote them down here. So, you can use Gaia GPS or All Trails or maybe Avenza. You see Avenza here, I wrote a little bit sloppily, but still managed to recognize it, so it's quite good. Download maps for offline use, download maps for offline use. Put phone in airplane mode because the phone will use a lot of power when out of cell tower range. Okay. So as you guys can see, okay, I guess one little error here, which, you know, it says, I, I wrote, place tent peg at 45 degrees, um, what does it say? 45 degrees pointy part towards tent, but it took the little degree symbol to turn into a zero, which is fine, guys. Once again, just make sure, oh, well, Stary strips, okay. So guys, we're all off the bat, I don't see any kind of major errors. Just kind of go in here and, uh, you know, change this to a degree symbol. Or maybe I could have just, you know, actually wrote, wrote down degrees. All right, guys, so that's how you can go ahead and take your handwritten or any kind of photograph text and turn it into something you can copy and paste. Thank you for watching and take care.